Come on. There we go. Hello, class. Today I'm going to be showing you how to shoot a free throw. Uh, well, I don't know if I'm going to make them, but I'm going to teach you the proper mechanics. Free throw is a shot in basketball that you get when you get fouled and you go to the free throw line. Um, a lot of you may know the term clutch free throw. It's a, Free throws are a huge part of the game, uh, and hence the name clutch because they can often come in clutch and win you games at times. A huge part of free throws is your uh, your mentality. Uh, you can't let, because when you go to the line it goes dead silent, everyone's watching you, waiting for you to make the shot. So uh, you got to know how to keep your cool and relax. and. Uh, do your thing and another thing about free throws is the repetition everyone has their own type of uh, free throw shot and how they do it you might notice that in games everyone does a different free throw shot and it's all repetitious however they choose to do it it's their routine and it's what helps them uh, execute the best free throw shot but um I guess some major steps I'm gonna take you to the hoop actually hold on Colton, I need you. Come on. Here's my rebounder for the video. Uh, don't mind this. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to have to speak up now. Some major points in shooting free throws. You get fouled and you step to the line. In my case, this is the line right up here somewhere. You, first thing you always want to do is get your foot in the position you like. And on most basketball courts, there's a nail in the center free throw. And uh, I prefer to put my right foot with my right arm. I shoot with my right arm. So I put my right arm with my right foot and I line up. You always want to line up your hips, your feet and your elbows with the hoop. So, you get the ball, rep passes you the ball, you grab it, you square up to the basket, you do your routine like I was saying, make sure it's repetitious, and your three dribbles, and you always, all your power in your free throw shot comes from your legs. So, the motion is really critical for most shots, so uh, I'm just going to demonstrate now. You always want to make sure you get the flick with your wrist and power from your legs. It's all repetitious, the same motion every time. One, two, three, two, three. I mean, I think I demonstrated halfway decent. Yeah, that was good. Uh, I, I didn't really class. go through the mechanics as much as I would have liked to, but it's kind of hard. Um, oh. Hold on, let me set this back down. Okay. No, get out. Well, you're not welcome anymore. <laughs> you were just my rebounder. Um, as you can see, I kind of demonstrated. I hope you could hear me. Uh, as, my, as you can probably tell, I was doing my repetition, or not repetition, my, my routine. For my free throws, I would do square up. I'd put my foot on the center line. I'd square up my legs, my hips, and my elbow. Everything would be squared. I'd do my three dribbles. And I'd um, also, one thing I actually forgot to mention is your shot's all one motion. You want your legs to be. Uh, well, here, Colton, let me. I need you to hold this for me. Get my, Hi. Whole, get my whole body. Get the body shot. Alright, you got my body? Yeah. Set as a hoop here. Mm -mm, that I'll square it up. <gasps> Take three dribbles. You want to bend your legs. And it's all one motion. I don't know if you can tell. 
my legs are fully extended and my arms are fully extended with the snap of my wrist at the end. So one motion. Uh, snap the wrist and your legs. Those are main points of a free throw. And you want to stick to your routine. And uh, it all goes from there. You'll get better and better as you go. But practice the same way if you're comfortable. And uh, yeah. I guess that's really it. Have a great rest of English class, guys. Bye.